Hi, and welcome back to Central Valley Arts and Culture with me, your host, Rebecca Caravale. And I am very excited to introduce a very dear friend of mine. I won't say old. You were going to say old. No, I wasn't. No, you weren't. <laughs> okay, someone I've known for a very, very long time, like almost my whole life. Uh, here he is, Mr. Ray that's Appleton. I mean, that's funny. After the decades and decades we've known each other, you interviewing me. I know. Think I about know. That. That's really, I dreamt about it last night. They do? Oh, it's just freaky. <laughs> I mean, you interviewing me, so. It's very exciting for me. I'm very flattered that Ray's always been one of my heroes growing up, you okay, know. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But when we were kids, when I was a kid, he totally knew everything about music. He was the coolest DJ on K-Fig. We all worshipped him. The only AOR station in town. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was at Sal Arena this morning, um, loading in uh, Pepe Aguilar. That's the show that we're doing this uh, today at Sal Arena. And so, all I can think of is our uh, mantra of the 70s was meet you in 13. And that's where all the kids I hung out with at Hoover, uh, we met for the concerts there. And, you know, Ray Appleton was an icon of the, uh, the time. Long hair, played in a band. He was super, super hot. And look, and now he's a handsome grown-up man playing. Who do you play in the Civil War Revisited? Uh, this year, once again, I drew uh, Major General Winfield Scott Hancock. So Hancock the Superb. So the handsomest man in the Army, is he was called. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's what he did. That's what they said. He was the handsomest man of the times. So I can't live up to that, but he did. Okay. So you draw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So are there well, principles? Actually, are actually you principles? That's, it's a usually a draw. This year it's different because it's the 20th anniversary. We were asked to play, replay our favorite characters. So I chose it this year. Oh, okay. I don't know where, somewhere along the line I thought you were General Sherman. I've done that many times. Okay, so, that, so it's not my be, imagination. The beard would be much different. It would be big and down to here. Okay, and maybe that's what I saw you. So you played both sides. No, I've never played the other side. Oh, you never have? Okay. No. Both, so. both generals have been Union generals. Okay. And then who else have you played? Those are the only two? or? Oh, but mostly uh, Sherman and uh, Hancock, uh, General Hooker. Uh, you know about him. That's where they got the term hookers. Right. From Hooker's Brigade. Women that went with him that were his uh, awesome. recreation. Right. That's where they got hookers from, the, the term mm -hmm. hookers. Very true. Uh, so I played Hooker. And... Uh, I played a, a, a boy, one of my favorite characters I played was a Southern Virginian general who was loyal to the Union, though, in a very Southern accent. His name was George Henry Thomas. Not a, not a big fixture in the war, but he was famous simply because he was a Southerner that did not want the Union to, to bust up, and he was a delightful character to portray. Oh, so, how neat yeah. is that? Yeah, it's a good one. So, um, is it always the same battle recreated? No, no. no. Every year we draw a different battle. But then this year is the exception, because it's the 20th anniversary, it's the whole war. So it's any aspect of the war we will portray. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. it's a real major homework assignment. It's perfectly dreadful. Okay, so the people, where do all these people come from? All over the country. So they kind of come and they follow the whole... Uh, they follow it, or they're part of it. They're actors that are beholden well, to you've, it. Well, you've got you've got some that are actors and some that are reenactors. The reenactors are are people who are just devoted to reenacting the military side, okay, of it or the civilian side of it, and they're fanatical. They're fanatical. Actors are like me, who okay. occasionally show up at the bigger events to portray a particular historical figure. So I'm not that quite fanatical about it that I go all over the country doing this. Okay. There are thousands that do, and they are here. So where did this, where was this last? What do you mean, where was the, it last? Where were the people last? Do they, is like a, is it I like a fair? I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, it's, there's kind of a circuit to it, yeah. A circuit to it, okay. Uh, but I don't know what the last one was. Okay. can't remember. Okay. They'll all beat right, me later for not knowing <laughs> when I get out to Kearney. But, okay, it, but I'm just interested in seeing it, where, where, because there are a lot of people out there. Thousands. So, they're there now. So they're there They're camping. actually living the way it was. They got in all Wednesday. Okay. And they're, they're cooking, and the, the fires are going, and the flags are up, and they're cleaning their weapons, and they're speaking the lingo of the time, and 
they're playing cards from the era and you walk out there, if you were to go out there now, I mean, it would be just like it was 185 years ago. Oh my goodness, okay. I mean, yeah, it's, it's begun for them. That is very, very interesting. Yes. I mean, if for, uh, you know, for regular people and you go and you see this and it's such a, a big, big event that, the, that they're putting on here with thousands of reenactors, not actors, and I didn't even really think of that whole... Uh, well, the camps are pitched, the horses are grazing, I mean, the artillery's being cleaned, it's, it's, it's there. It's, it's and there. your horse, I want to know about that. You have a horse? Well, my horse passed away, um, oh. which is a sore subject. I'm but, sorry. Uh, I've yeah. got one, a reenactor horse I've been using for the last couple of years, okay. named Possum, who's a good one. I had a horse, uh, beautiful buckskin, and it was about three years ago. She didn't look really hot right before one reenactment, and uh, but she was eating and, and we were out training her and getting her ready for all of this and took her to the vet and she was full of cancer. We had to just oh put her down that goodness. afternoon. And it was yeah, it was like oh losing wow. my mother. It was terrible. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Next subject. I'm like okay. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Great horse though. But but that's interesting because as long as I've known Ray. I never really knew that you even knew how to ride a horse, but my, uh, he is a man of many, many, many talents. My grandparents at one time in Sanger had what was the largest quarter horse ranch in the world. And I was basically spent my summers on that ranch, so I've been riding as long as I can think. Yeah, isn't, it, isn't that funny? And I know Ray's Fresno boy, yeah. you know, yeah. went to McLean and all that. and. It's very, uh, very cool to but have. I've, I've literally ridden since I think I was about six. So, wow. Yeah. And I've maybe been on the pony, you know, <laughs> when someone leads you around when you're a little kid. That's the whole, that was the extent of my, my horse, uh, horsewoman, whatever you call it. One, 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 one sad note about this year's event, it's the last. This is the last no one? More. No more. What do you mean? <laughs> it's no more. They're just... The, the histori Historical Society is uh, replacing it with another event in the fall that I don't know a lot about, and this one is gone. Oh my goodness, that means you have to go out and see it yeah. this weekend it, this, if you've and, never and seen it Historically, before. this is the largest annual Civil War reenactment in the United States of America. So oh it's kind of sad to see it pass. Yeah. If they bring it back, uh, it'll be in the spring of 2011, so we're kind of keeping our fingers crossed. Oh, okay. So they might, they're going to try. An, there's a, there's an if there. It, it really depends upon this weekend. If it's huge, they'll consider it. But, you know, it's the economy. This event right. costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to pull off. Sponsorship money is drying up. We were just so, talking about yeah, that earlier. So we it's, go it's saying, plug the nonprofits because it's, it's tough. Yeah. That's we're and the it, ones who bring you, and that's a nonprofit. Historical yes, society is a nonprofit. So exactly, what and can you do? Yeah, we're just all trying to wait it out. So um, I think we're going to go into a commercial, and we're going to look around and see if we have a CD. And Ray's brought his weapons, and uh, we're going to talk about a little bit more about the reenactment. So we'll be right back. 